Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Leap of the Week. It's me, Sarah, and I have a model friend here with me today. You might have already recognized her from the back, but this is Trina, and she's going to help me show you some shoulder mechanics. Uh, I got a question on Facebook about winging for the scapula, and so I thought I'd do a series about um, the scapular position and then also show you some exercises that I like to do to help with the movement of upward rotation, which is really a very important component of shoulder movement and kind of gets skipped a lot of the time. So the first series of this video, this first video in this series, um, I want to just kind of do a little bit of uh, learning around what is winging. Winging has sort of become a, like a catch-all phrase to describe any time the scapula is not sitting properly on the rib cage, any time it's kind of tipped in a direction that pulls it off the rib cage. But there's different ways that winging can happen. And uh, the different ways that winging can happen means that it's being caused by different uh, imbalances in the muscles and the, the tension in the in the shoulder. So I've got my trusty, as you know, every girl should have a scapula in her purse. I've got my, I brought my trusty scapula with me. So I'm just going to put this on top of Trina's uh, scapula so you can see what's happening. The first kind of winging that I want to talk about is when this inferior angle, instead of being nice and smooth into the body, which is where it should be, is tipped up away from the body. Right, so there's actually space between the bottom angle of the scapula and the rib cage. Like you could slide your hand underneath it almost. That happens when the scapula is being pulled kind of up and over the top of the shoulder. And if you think about, okay, well, what would be the muscles or what would be the, the connective tissue, the fascia, what, what would that, that pull be being caused by? One of the culprits is that muscle, the, ter the, excuse me, the pec minor that attaches to the front of the scapula and kind of pulls the scapula in this downward position um, over, over the top of the shoulder. And then also, it, you know, nothing ever works in a vacuum, so there's probably other muscles around in that area that are, that are also contributing. So that's one kind of winging. And there's another kind of winging that happens. Uh, these are sort of the two most common. There's other ways, but these are the ones that show up the most. And that is, instead of this, this inferior angle being what is pulled up, it's actually the whole medial border is lifted away from, you know, I'm exaggerating, but it's moving in this direction away from the rest of the rib cage here, right? And you could almost slide your hand underneath the scapula that way. And Typically, when you see that medial border winging of the scapula, the explanation is that the serratus anterior muscle, which lines the underside of the scapula and attaches to the ribs, is not strong enough, and so you get a lot of serratus exercises. And the exercises I'm going to show you are serratus exercises. That is one reason why it could be happening, but I want to show you a different reason, because the first time that I learned about this other reason of why it could be happening, it just totally baked my noodle. I was like, what? And I had to think about it a couple times. So I wanted to share this with you so you could mull it over a little bit. So just to review, possibly that medial border is being lifted up because of the serratus. But the other possibility is the muscles that are on the top of the scapula here are the external rotator muscles, the um, infraspinatus and the teres minor. And they attach to your humerus, right? And in theory, their job is to do external rotation of the glenohumeral joint. They rotate, thank you. They do uh, rotation of the arm bone outwards. But if you've got whatever, for whatever reason, if you've got an arm bone that's not being permitted to do that external rotation, but the muscles here are too short or too stiff, instead what they're going to do is pull on the scapula and lift that medial border of the scapula away from the rib cage. So that could also be why that's happening. I'll think about that for a while. Um, so the last thing I want to show you real quickly is what is this movement of upward rotation? What is it all about? So I'm going to have Trina move her arm. Anytime your arm goes into either flexion, which is what it's doing right now, or abduction, which we'll show in a second. Do that flexion a couple times. Your scapula should be moving in this direction. This is called upward rotation. And when it comes back down, it's called downward rotation. Right? And it's part of your proper shoulder mechanics to have a scapula that moves well, this way. I'll get out of the way. If you do abduction, same thing, up and out. So anytime your arm comes into that overhead position, you should have upward rotation of the scapula. And in our second video, I'll show you a little exercise you can do to work on that end range of upward rotation uh, and really get that serratus firing. So 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for modeling. And uh, <laughs> uh, questions or comments below. All right. Bye, you guys.